This is Gran Turismo Sport for the PlayStation 4. In comparison to the other driving games, it can be a little bit slow loading up the actual game, but it is, I would say, in general, quite a good game. It's very enjoyable, and I've been enjoying going through the different courses. But there is one major problem with this. It requires you to be online pretty much constantly. This became apparent a few days ago. For about a day or two, there was a lot of network errors with Gran Turismo Sport. They were saying currently we're experiencing an unstable connection from Gran Turismo Sport because of servers. In practice, what that meant was that you could still play the arcade mode, but there was constant errors. It would remind you three or four times of error messages before you go into the game. After you come out of the game, there was more messages about there being a server error. And then you go back into the game, another four or five error messages loading up, telling you about the server error. It got to the point where we just changed and started playing Drive Club instead of Gran Turismo because the error messages and all the different warnings were just so annoying. Now, this is a really big problem because it is a good game, but it pretty much it pretty much ruins the game. It really does because if you don't have an online connection, this game is borderline unplayable. Now, the very annoying thing, the most annoying thing about this is the fact that well, I've got a 2 terabyte drive in my PlayStation 4. This will not save your progress to your hard drive. It always saves it online. And that is so annoying. Because the other day, for example, there was about four or five of us. And, you know, sitting with all my friends, having a few beers. And we went through maybe about six or seven dif different courses. We played lots of games. We got lots of points. And none of that progress was saved. Pretty much about three or four hours of gameplay was not saved because when their uh, when their servers are down, well, you can't really play. You can't save your progress. You can maybe put on and play a game once or twice, but in a game where you're trying to unlock courses, you're trying to unlock cars, you're trying to buy cars, tweak cars, and it's all about saving your progress in the game. If you can't actually save that progress, well, then it's a big problem. Now, there was nothing wrong with my internet connection. If you check online, you will see thousands of people being very frustrated about this, voicing their um, anger about this situation. I just don't know why they haven't fixed this because this is something that's been going ongoing for months. When it was released, I talked about this. The fact that on release, on the actual release day, there was a lot of network errors and people couldn't actually play the game. Now, the, the, as I said, the most annoying thing is that I can't actually save this to my hard drive. I don't see why they can't just allow me to save progress to my hard drive and then when, when I'm online, you can sync my progress online, if that is the case. Now, I understand maybe the reason they do this is so that some people don't cheat, but, you know, fighting cheaters shouldn't be, be detrimental to, you know, just enjoying the game in the first place. And, you know, I haven't even been playing online, but it's very, very frustrating because what it means is if there is ever a problem with their servers, I can't play their game. And there does seem to be problems with their servers all the time. This is a really, really, uh, I would say, a, a big problem in the gaming industry as standard. This should be an offline game apart from the online game element. Now, I realise you need to go online to download updates and all that, but why isn't this game 100% offline apart from playing online? There should be an option to say you want to go online and download updates, see if there's any changes and things like that. But the no game today, especially you know when people are paying 20, 30, 40 bucks for a game, it shouldn't become unplayable when their servers go down. That's just um, unacceptable. So, yes, this has been a rant, but I think this is a major problem in the gaming industry, and I think this is something that needs to be addressed. I don't see why they can't adjust the game. That is something that should be able to get fixed in a future version, but it's something they haven't fixed, and I just don't understand why. Let me know what you think about this, guys. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you think about this, but it's a real shame because I have been enjoying this game, but these kind of issues are going to stop me from playing this much more. Thanks for watching guys and until next time, take care.